can. All right, we're live we go. on the Olympia. We're in the park walking our dogs. What'd you say? He coined the phrase, I never give people, I always give people credit for what they do. What phrase? Dogs. What's the title of this? You oh, forgot oh, already? Oh, oh, it was dog, dog <laughs> walking dog. Dog walking dog. He's like, what are you I'm talking like, about? I'm like, Frank. <laughs> We don't take credit for other people. We got Adam from Broadfit, right? It's Brandon, but we're gonna Brandon, go with Adam. Brandon from Yo, Broadfit. I'm dead. My middle Yo, name's Adam, I'm so I'm glad dead. you remembered one part. <laughs> Why'd you say Adam? It's my middle name. Who said Adam? You said Adam. Yo, my bro, last name Brandon. on Instagram is Brandon Adam, so yeah, I say it's all right. He goes, there's Adam there. Look, look, look. Don't even lie. lie. I, like, I, I said Brandon. I like people no, going to full didn't. government. He's thinking, he said, yo, he's thinking, yo, bro, I'm dead. Yo. Mean, did you have any gummies before you came here? Listen. <laughs> I like you thinking about it. Yo, no comment on that, but look, right? <laughs> but look, right? Um, his name is Brandon. I definitely told him. Yeah, because he's in my Instagram is Brandon. I was communicating with him, and then you said okay. he was Adam. Well, you said it earlier. You said Adam. I said, I'm going to let him go with it. It's all right. <laughs> That's right, I've been calling my next door neighbor Rob. His name is Greg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Rob. Hey, Rob. Like, he texts me, he goes, you want to go to the cigar place? Gregory. I'm like, oh, so I've been calling this guy Rob for the last five years. <laughs> Looks like a Rob. Frank Lowkey knows everybody, so he gets people mixed up. Yeah, sorry. whatever. You know, like, I'm sorry. Brandon from Broadfit. There you go. There we got we Sophia go. Manning alive the over there, right? Yeah, Sophia, that. and we got Champ Ferguson. <laughs> yeah, he we got Leo Seppi here. He's, um, he's upset right now because. Uh, um, stop petting him. Oh well, yeah, well, so he's, he got, he's got all the now. attention. He knows where, you know, he knows where to sit in that angle. <laughs> he likes you. He doesn't like. You. So anyway, so we did it. Uh, already did a 36-minute video that'll be up on YouTube. So I'm on live right now. So uh, we'll just hit some people right now live with, uh, you know, what you're doing for the Tampa Pro on the Olympia. You're competing in the Tampa Pro. Right? Oh yeah, we do. We got a lot of conversation. Y'all good over there? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. I don't, I don't know if she we was making sure my real name was. I said, trust me, it's Brandon. <laughs> Spell it. No, I had Brandon. To I'm done, bro. It's Brandon. Brandon. B R A N D O N. Not Brandon. Brandon. There we go. Like Brandon. Tampa Pro, 10 weeks out. Yeah, we just did a 36 minute video for uh, YouTube. It's up on Muscle Fitness as well. But. We're going to hit some little things right now before we go into, we're going to do a series of questions for the YouTube channel. But are you getting ready for the TAMP? How many weeks out are you? I think 10. 10 weeks out. When are you actually going to start getting ready? Um, <laughs> yo, dude, honestly, like, I want to do more on Coach Won't Let Me. He's, yo, dude, yeah. he won't even give me a diet. What do you mean? Like, I'm not do giving you no goddamn diet. It ain't time for that yet. Because he's, yo, bro, he's like, where you at, you're not supposed to be at, bro. If I give you a diet, you're going to start following Still this diet, too, bro. Mm -hmm. You're going to get too lean too fast. Just do what you're doing and actually slow it up a little. It was funny. Like, if I start dieting strict, I get leaned out. Usually I have a certain amount of sweets and sugars that I eat and stuff. I know some bodybuilders ate, like, ice cream, like, a week out from the show. They just needed it. Everybody's different. These cookie-cutter diets that people are giving everybody don't work, you know, um, for everyone. They I'll get say to this. a certain point, but right. they're not going to... All right, so a cookie-cutter diet actually does work for everyone if you tweak it along the way. But, but it doesn't. But, you got to tweak it. But, yeah. but this is my thing, though. You can't get to the top percentile with a cookie-cutter diet. You can get in shape, but are you going to get, like, peeled to the bone? No. No, but you just said you got to tweak it. If I give you a diet and say, okay, see ya, have a good day. No way in hell. No, nah, you got to tweak no the carbs. Hell. You got to tweak the protein. No way in hell. You know, basically... You have to track because the, um, the person's progress tells you what to do. Like when I send him, I send him progress pictures, and he's like, "Bro, this is 11 weeks out." He's like, "Yo, yeah. dude, I'm not doing nothing." He's like, "There's no way in hell." I'm like, "Yo, um, I'm doing 20 minutes of cardio. Can I do?" It? He's like, uh, can I, "I was like, can I do it every day?" He's like, "No, fuck no, every other day, and that's it." Yeah, like, and I already, yo, and I dropped five pounds this week still. <laughs> like I went from 203 to 198. And what do you usually compete at? 190. Um, yeah, right around 190. 190, yeah. Right around so, 190. so you got 10 weeks and eight pounds. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still three weeks out. Still three weeks out. It's not a bad spot to be in, man. But look, if you stay ready, you don't got to get ready. So yeah. I shouldn't have to kill myself through this prep to get, like, fully, fully in stage shape. No, we're all excited. Honestly, excited to see what you're going to bring now that you're healthy for yeah. the Tampa Pro. He has to qualify for the Olympia. 17, what, 17 pro wins? 16 pro wins? It'll be number 17 after Tampa. They're throwing 17 pro wins in there. So, yep. Yeah, so... Yeah, so people want to follow Andre, you know, Lucky Libra, right, on Instagram, and now you're on TikTok page. Lucky Libra 213 IG. 
uh, YouTube and uh, Lucky Libra 213 underscore on TikTok. And I'm looking for some new haters if you guys haven't heard that yet, right? <laughs> so if you're trying to get some hater shit off, yo, come to my TikTok page. You can leave all the hater shit you want. I'm not even going to block you. What? I might even engage with you a little bit. What's the worst comment you got on? on I the, don't fuck yeah. you. Look, some had yeah. no because I don't remember them because I just blocked them right away. Really? I don't respond. Like if I respond, I then I'm gonna remember. But if I respond to you, then I'm gonna remember you. Yeah. You know what somebody called me yesterday? A home wrecker. I'm like, well, how am I a home wrecker? I'm oh, trying to God. figure out who it is. I went on his page to see if I knew anybody. Did you bang his wife? <laughs> like, like what you do? No. Right? <laughs> like, like, well, he called me a home wrecker. I'm like, you know. That one it made me think, like, you know, the other stuff about PEDs maybe, or anything else. Maybe, like, his, yeah, wife, maybe, maybe his, his wife problem. matched with you on Tinder or something. Yo, I was, 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 yeah. With your pictures and stuff. Oh God. It was funny. Like even I put my son in one of them, and I was like, "That's wrong." They're like, "This is my ex-wife. This is si my sister," because I guess he wanted to hook up with girls or whatever it was. And this is my nephew, you know, and like change their names and everything else. That's, I'm like, That's um, sick. Yo, sick dude, people. I never understood the hell thing, right? No. And it's got to be some sort of mental illness because um, you're like, yo, people are really like. Look, we know Catfish, like, I didn't think it was real till the show came out. Yeah, I know, like, I didn't, I didn't know the really term think, either. I didn't, no, no, I heard the term before growing up, yeah. but I didn't think it was real. Like, I thought it was like imaginary shit. People don't catch fish people, stop, nah. bro. Like, and then once the show came out, I was like, no, this is a real thing. Like, that's crazy. Oof. Well, and yo, and then what? When they pull up to the house and they see it's not you, then what? Yeah, exactly. Because you know it's not going to be as good as the original. <laughs> Oh, that's me. They're gonna be like, they like, wait, hold on, bro. Yeah. This, is, this is not you. It was me two years ago. It's like, yeah. no, wait. But you're five seven, and the guy in the picture is six two. I know. But well, yeah. So for Olympia Live, we're gonna say you gotta get your tickets Ooh. on MrOlympia.com in Vegas, Planet Hollywood. It's gonna you be gotta, amazing. You gotta reiterate it to people again. It's back in Vegas, people. It's in Vegas. Playing Back Hollywood. in Vegas, people. But Frank, quick question: What's gonna happen to the pool party, though? Cause it's in December now, and I think the pools are closed in Vegas in December. You're gonna have to, you know, you're gonna have to do your own private thing, a hot tub in a room. I don't know which one. Well, we could get one of those suites in the Palms. <laughs> I don't know. And we could have a real, we could have a real party in there. I don't know. You don't ever, never know who's gonna show up. <laughs> Freaks come out of You don't want bro. that. Yeah, but that's, you, that's the truth. Yeah, you know what? There used to be like seven, eight after parties. At like clubs and stuff at these show after the shows. It was like big ones back in the day. There was some, some big big ones. But since COVID, I don't know what's gonna you know, funny. You know, happen now. Yeah, I kind of don't even like partying too much no more unless it's like day parties. Besides that, I just like going to dinner. There you go. He needs a comfortable chair and a lounge. I don't like to I don't, put his Olympia sand out. Yeah, like yeah, dude, like <laughs> night nightclubs just ain't my thing. Like yeah, it never was. Like me. yeah, like I really like yo I. Hey, invite me to all the day parties though. If I can sit there with my <laughs> shirt off and I can fist pump, drinking, that's cool. Yeah. But um, but you ain't going to the night, you know. Nah, man, don't you know, invite you... me to no nightclubs. If you want to go to dinner, we could do that. I'm yeah. down. I'm down to get bombed at dinner at a really good dinner like anytime. This. You're at the club. You're like anytime. You're yeah. like what? Congratulations! Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, I hate that. Like, I hate that shit. Hate it's all crazy, shit. but no. Definitely get your tickets at MrOlympia.com. It's going to be crazy. Um, if you th thought it was crazy last year with the stage, how great it was, wait to they have what Dan Solomon, Tamer, Jake Wood, and the team has in store for everybody. It's just going to be phenomenal. Angelica. Angelica. I mean, we have a list of people. Caden, Sophia. There's a lot Mark of different Kaden. people. You know, there, there's yeah, a lot a of dope, great people. Yo, it's, a it's a great team. team. It is a dope team. Yeah. Martine, the Wings of Strength team. There's a lot of different. It is a dope team. Yeah. They, everyone makes this the premier show in, in fitness um, for sure. Because the people, the, all those people you just named, they care about bodybuilding. Absolutely. And like care about of, leveling up. Like a lot of people, like, all right, I'm not going to say they don't care about the money because they do care about the money too. Yes. But some people only care about money mm -hmm. and they don't care about the actual sport. Those people you named, they care about bodybuilding. Absolutely. I think he, look at this. I think Neo's gonna jump ship. He loves you. Coming home with me today. <laughs> he's like, Neo don't never sit this close. Nah, to yeah, nobody. he's just sitting here like. He's like, he don't sit like this. He knew we were on. Nobody. But yeah, so now we're gonna get ready. So we're gonna throw some, we're gonna get ready for some YouTube questions here. Okay, so I'm gonna give my intro. 
You ready? Yeah. Frank Seppi with IFBB Pro Men's Physique. Competitor, champion, Andre Ferguson. Yep. So, this is our series on men's physique competitors. We'll start with the first question. What does it take to be a good pro men's physique competitor? What does it take? How do you stay consistent? Like, you've been so consistent, you've won 16 times, possibly 17. Like, what is what is I, the key to consistency, the motivation, everything that goes into I, it? I'm going to say this, right? Fuck all the motivation, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the number one. Yo, you got to have the talent, Frank. Yep. Yo, listen. A lot of yo, listen. Is it right. talent or genetics? That's it. it, it, it it's equal because mm -hmm. it's like this, right? Yo, I loved basketball, but I'm saying in high school I realized I wasn't gonna be past five nine. Mm -hmm. So at a point it was like, okay, it doesn't matter how much you like basketball. My man, the probability of you making it to one of the what five hundred spots in the NBA is slim to none, my dog. Right. So. I say number one is you got to be real with yourself because you need the talent, Frank. Mm -hmm. Like some people just genetically don't have the talent. You can have talent to actually make it to the pro league, but if you're not being real with yourself and what you see in the mirror and what your actual deficiencies are, you're not going to get better because you already think you got it and deserve to be there. So talent's number one, and then you'll do your work ass off. There's a reason too, like 100 plus men's physique competitors turn pro every year, but the same key guys keep winning over and over. There's a couple of new people here and there, but but, but the same key guys winning over. But you let the right guy tell you, you let the right guy tell you it's politics, that's why. Now they it's look better, better, bro. Now they yeah. look better, bro. Same, it, but look, that's every division, Frank. Vitamin C has won how many, how many Olympias? Yeah. And there's nobody close to it, because when we look at it on the stage, it's like, yo, that girl is amazing. Well, it's funny, because you had Nicole Wilkins won four or five, whatever, how many times she won, she was unbeatable. And then you had Candice, you had Latoria, and then you had Sid, and they just, just genetically smoked her for and, you know, and, and look, she couldn't. And that's him. and that's the talent that the I'm like. Look, it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Look, someone can actually work harder than Sid. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter how hard they work. Your talent still isn't better. But even genetically, you still have to work. Yes. Because you're oh, against no. other genetic... Look, do it's not... like the superheroes against superheroes. Right. I'm, not, I'm not saying <laughs> yeah. that you don't have to work your ass off. Yeah. But I'm saying they're just people that, no matter how hard they work, they're just not talented enough to beat her. So if an NPC competitor came to you and he goes, listen, you know, I just turned pro in a men's physique, will you be honest with him and tell him that... No, it's not... My, break his nah, dream? dude, it's not... Yo, honestly, all right, so... How do yo, you adjust it's a, that? It's a weird spot to be in, right? Yes. And I'm going to tell you why it's a weird spot to be in. Because, um... I don't want to be the one to crush that person's dream. Right. If if I'm if if I'm not tied to your circle, I will not tell you that at all, because it's not my place to tell you. It. It, it's your it's your circle's place to tell you that, not mine. It's not Andre's place to crush this guy's dream mm. that just turned pro. Like, bro, you ain't never gonna be shit. And it's just some random dude asking me that. Yep. Like, I get it. But like, the real answer is that, but it's like, it's not my place to tell him that, dude. I'm, what I'm going to tell him is, yo, dude, keep going as hard as you can, bro. Listen to the people around you. Have a good circle. Have a good coach. Have a good... Because, look, what I'm basically... The answer I'm giving him... I'm giving him the answer of... I'm telling him all the things to have him around him. Mm -hmm. That's going to give him the best chance. Right. So, even if you are talent-wise or um, genetically at a deficiency, I'm still giving you the tools to be the best you. Do you, like... You've competed against the best the best because you are one of the best. Do you ever see somebody who's genetically inferior on the stage who has beaten you? Yeah, everybody. So, so these people who don't have these genetics, like back in the day, Rich no, Gasparri. No, no, I, I don't think you understand what I mean. I feel anybody who's beaten me was genetically inferior. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You know what's funny? Go, go back to what you said about politics, too, and the men's physique. I don't think that's a case whatsoever <coughs> in men's physique because the changing of Olympias from year to year and the placings where you're like, wow, this guy won the Olympia. Now he's in fifth. Like, um, this guy came in second. Like, because you know why? You know, I think Yo, it's the IP Pro is being extremely fair. Because I think this. this is the difference in men's physique than all the other divisions. Yo, dude, at the top, it's so fucking close between one and five. Yeah. So if you're a little bit off, that drops you. To, you you can either win the show or be in seventh. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the top five can win the show or play seventh. That's true. Yeah, you're right. It's just a small degree between, you know, each competitor. Like, oh, you cook. Cause look, 
There's people that I've literally cooked at the Arnold while they're on, we're all on, I get a perfect score. But then, all right, we come up to the Olympia, I might be a couple hairs off, and now that same person is beating me. Yeah, it's true. Yep. It's like, wait a minute, how are they beating you? But, oh, you're not at your best, that's why they're beating you. Like that little, that little, and I, and I don't even mean like, I'm dropping off a lot, just a little bit, and somebody has sniped you. How does it feel like when you hit your peak, right, and you're on stage, I mean, you gotta feel amazing. And then on the other side, when you know you're not near your best and you're up there and you gotta kinda like yeah. fake it, how does that mentally um, play into things? Cause I can say this, right? You can tell everyone who knows they're not at their best because you can see it in their posing. Even myself, when I look at my posing after, you didn't hit those poses as hard. Not as confident? Nope, because you know you didn't look as good. You already know it in your head. Okay. You already know. All right, well, there you go. We got some some information from the, the champ over here. Frank Seppi, Andre Ferguson, we're out.